that's not good. Here's a real quick video on how to test a two-wire coil for a small engine. This is off a Briggs & Stratton 18 horse opposing cylinder engine that's on a lawnmower that I have. And I went online on YouTube and I couldn't find any information on how to test a two lead coil, ignition coil. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Well, the first thing I want to do is check and see if we have spark. See if that's what the problem is. So we'll go ahead and pull a spark plug out. this grounded to metal and see if we have spark. I don't see any spark. So we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the coil. What I'm going to do first is there's a kill wire here and I'm going to disconnect the kill wire just to make sure that it's not one of the safety switches that's bad. I trace the kill wire and it comes from the coil, comes down through here and this is the kill wire right here. So I've got that disconnected and now we'll test the mower and see if it'll start and run. That's not good. So I'm going to pull the coil out and we can test it and uh, see if it's any good. Typically, on a one wire coil, you touch the positive lead to the spark plug connector and you touch the negative lead to the base of the coil, and you should get a reading between 2,500 and 5,000 ohms of resistance. This coil's bad, so we get nothing. But you can't test a two-wire coil this way or touching it to the kill switch. On a single wire coil, you'd get a reading of resistance if the coil was good doing that. Well, on a two-wire coil, what you have to do is touch the positive lead to one plug wire and the negative lead to the other plug wire and if the coil's good, if the windings are good and not broken in the coil, you'll get a good reading. This one's bad. It's the one I took out and removed, and I ordered a new one. It's designed a little different, but it matches the engine for my lawnmower. So we'll touch one lead to one and one lead to the other, and we get a good positive reading of resistance. Now again, just to show you, you can't test this like you do a single wire coil. You get nothing. Nothing to the kill switch. Nothing to the base anywhere. You have to touch the two leads. And what that says is there's continuity and resistance going through this wire. The windings are all good and coming back out the other wire. And those are the steps I take in testing a two-wire coil. If this video was a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.